Hi there, it's Louise with you of Timeless Craft Mama, and today I'd like to share a scrapbook layout process video created for Scrapbook Boutique. And I've titled this page Boy Oh Boy, and I'm using the delicious U Rock collection from Coco Vanilla Studio. So I've started with a cut file, and off camera I've gone ahead and I've backed that cut file with some of these wonderful papers in the collection kit. What I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of mixed media and some other elements to the page to show you how I created this layout. Now, off camera again, I've gone and attached some adhesive, so I'm going to stick that down. And then I'm going to use a um, Prima brush to spread some white gesso around the page. Now, I wanted it to be quite messy. I didn't want that strict sort of look. It's just to enhance the colours that I'm going to add to this background. Now, I've got some of the Nouveau embellishment mousse, and I'm going to start with the cornflower blue. And I'm going to just paint that onto the um, cut file and just sort of work in a diagonal. So starting at that top left hand corner, popping some colour up there and then working to that bottom right hand corner where the photo is going to go. Now I've added a couple of little splatters as well. They do disappear as the paste starts to dry, but certainly um, doesn't hurt to have them there. Now again, I'm going to use the Nuvo embellishment mousse and I'm going to use it through this fabulous um, numbers stencil. And I really, this stencil became one of my favourites as soon as I saw it. I really love the effect that um, those individual little numbers, it's so fine and detailed how it ends on the page. Now, again off camera, I have backed my photo with some card just to help lift it off the page. And what I'm going to do now is go through some of the fabulous um, die cuts that are available to you from Coco Vanilla Studio in the U Rock collection. And I'm going to add them to the page. Now, I decided that I wanted to try and add sort of a cotton type feel in that diagonal again, um, same as what I was doing um, with the pastes, but I just I couldn't quite get the cotton to cooperate with me on this particular day. I don't know what the problem was. Um, I'm going to fiddle around with it a few times, you'll see on camera, um, and then uh, eventually I just uh, put it to the side and fix it off camera because realistically you don't need to see me going backwards and forwards and playing around with cotton. So um, the eventual layout, uh, a lot of the cotton happens off camera um, and you know the final stages of it is um, you know it's not something you can reproduce so it's not something you need to see on camera. Now this um, particular uh, collection from Coco Vanilla Studio has lots of these little um, word sayings at the bottom of the sticker sheet which is included in that 12 by 12 collection pack and I love how they're so descriptive especially in this collection because it's um, you know it's designed with boy layouts in mind but certainly don't be restricted by um, what the collection's designed for. You know, I use pinks and florals for boy layouts, so there's no reason why you can't use, um, you know, in this collection, there's stars and arrows and triangles and, and swirls and, and pattern papers. There's no reason why you couldn't use all of those for a, a girl layout or a holiday layout. They'd be great for beach layouts. Um, so certainly, you know, don't be restricted by what you can do with a collection. Always think outside the box. But for me, as my boys are my main um, scrapping inspiration, it was it was the perfect collection for me. So I am just working on adding some elements. I've got some of the um, little uh, plus signs, um, and I've just mounted those up on some foam. It's really hard to see and you will get to see some close-ups but that paste in the background really has enhanced that layout especially with that stencil so I'm just going ahead and popping a couple of little extra elements some of those stars and the final stage of this layout will be to um, doodle a border around the outside and I'm just going to skip around those extras that I've added so those little die cuts form part of the border and this layout is finished
So I thank you so very much for watching that video. Um, I hope you're inspired by this collection and the techniques I've shown you here. Don't forget to subscribe and of course check out Scrapbook Boutique.